Hey guys, how's it going? Mike here. Do not let your eyes deceive you. It is Subnautica Below Zero, and you know what? I'm gonna get some stuff off my chest first. Just rattle some stuff off here at the beginning. So, uh, first one for those that are looking for Star Wars Outlaws. Pretty much finished that one. There wasn't get any views on it, and that's something I, I love Star Wars. So I figured out I'm just gonna keep that to myself. If you want to continue watching it, as I know some of you do, as I know at least one of you do, you know who you are, uh, go check out the Rad Brad, his channel, if you never heard of him. Does awesome playthrough videos. Uh, usually play, does like two or three videos and gets it done. He plays like an hour and a half, two hours at a time. So if you want to watch Star Wars Outlaws, go watch the Rad Brad. Check him out. Tell my sent you over there. I'm sure he could use the views and the subscribers because you know what? I think he's like one of the top gamers, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, as far as the original Subnautica, kind of fell flat for me. That's why at the end there, I kind of, you know, man manipulated some things, which then to find out it's already in the options to play the game, just in creative mode, basically the same thing. Uh, but the story kind of fell flat. I'm hoping this story doesn't fall flat. Um, hoping round two here, below zero, is a little bit better. I heard they're making a number three, so hopefully it gets even better. I hope this story, though... Is better than story one and if it's not I'm gonna be utterly disappointed if you think that story in Subnautica one was the bees knees as they put it you know then that's your opinion I'm entitled to my opinion I think it fell flat um, seemed like they just they could have went did a lot of different things better in that story in Subnautica but I'm gonna shut up we're gonna get into the game let's start let's start a new game now, survival, you can do survival, you can do freedom, like survival, but without hunger or thirst. Well, so that must be hunger, thirst, health, O2, and then temperature, I guess, hardcore, oh, you can die, story and death are disabled. Um, should I do creative? I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Build anything with no constraints, oxygen, food, story, and death are disabled. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna try to find everything I need instead of just crafting it or, you know, whatever the case may be. But we'll see. We'll find out here in creative mode. But I'm gonna do creative because I'm basically just here for the storyline. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry, you can leave hateful comments down below. I'll stand here and watch this, you know, toucan penguin flop around and jump around. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Now, first off, that voice, we, this is just where we start, huh? Start right out here in the open. What is that? Oh, it's a life pod. Okay. Oh, what are these tentacle things? And I don't know what's poisonous and what's not poisonous, so uh, there's always that. Alright, looks like we have a solar thing. Alright. So looks like here's our base. We have storage, uh, we have a mobile vehicle bay, sea glide, ocean cannon, scanner. Habitat Builder, Flashlight, Survival Knife. Alright. What did I not see that's on my inventory? Okay. Good story, I saw everything. Alright, so we have everything up here that we will need. It's pretty much the same stuff as before, it looks like. Test override module. Spicy fruit salad, water purification tablet, 
defense. Rebreather. Oh, so I need to make a uh, cold suit and cold helmet and all that stuff again, huh? Spine pingling? Is that what they're called? Pinglings? Thumper? Okay. A snow fox. It's a bike and it hovers. Okay. Quantum locker. Storage solution which shares content with all other quantum lockers. That's kind of ingenious. A prawn suit, the sea truck. Okay. Sea truck aquarium module. Sea truck docking module. Sea truck fabricator module. Sea truck sleeper module. Do these all get added onto here? So you can like expand it. That's kind of dope. Snow Fox Ice Worm Attack Reduction Module. Okay, alright. I see, I see. Okay. My goodness, coffee vending machine. That kind of is phallic. Or not phallic, but what's the female word for, word for phallic? So there's one there too. Is that like a bug? Light? I mean, I don't know what else is in there. All right. Okay, so empty storage over here is our fabricator where we can fabricate everything. Alright. Right off the bat, have no idea where I need to be going. Auto manager voice log. Oh, what was that? Xeno worm, huh? Okay. Interesting. I mean, maybe there isn't a story mode. Let's do this. Let's go back. Let's play. Let's start a new game. Let's do freedom. Let's see what happens there. Does if it change if it's anything different. If not, we're gonna go back to Farthest that I can take uh, you on company space bucks, Rob. We're gonna do freedom. You're sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. 
And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Oh, my goodness. Unknown World Entertainment presents Approaching 45 46 feet. Surface temperature is Drop pod deployed. Uh, so that's where the drop pod came from. Six feet. Enjoy your stay. All right. So Blueprint synthesized. See anything else laying around here besides? Oh wait, how do I get warm? Can we run for it? Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Let's come up here and get some air. I'm assuming I'm not getting cold because it still says my temperature is 100. So we won't need to eat and drink. That's fine. That's, that's the easy stuff. Found the drop pod. Okay, that's the fabricator. gonna need all that stuff we already know which ain't much found the drop pod okay logs and communications so let's give them a listen to them. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know, it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things, kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. 
I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave. Delta and Station. There might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. I missed it when I was I playing the other find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? Augie. I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> oh, potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave Oxtra the starchy bite. tubers and nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that. But it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. <laughs> I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but you, actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xenoworking, though. <laughs> I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Number three. Hey, Robin. I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm... A bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my panglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. I guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Hey, Robin. <sighs> I'm sorry my last message was so... Awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway... I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Hey, Robin. I, I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. 
The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. What's Kara? Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. We could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. All right, so on a Leviathan, huh? Welcome to adventure mode. Spread some resources, find a constructor reliable hat. Oh, there's hot springs, huh? Wearing a standard AEP suit, which I guess we are. Bodies of water may provide safety from extreme cold. When in doubt, don't go out. All right, let's save on that bad boy. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. The dark outside again. Oops. The door. There we go. Let's go up. So water keeps us warm. Yeah. Well, there is nothing there at the moment. So let's look around. Silicon rubber and titanium. What do I need to make silicone rubber? Refined seed cluster. Okay. Let's go in here. Should be able to use this. Oxygen. Sun coming out. Wasn't there a third one? Oxygen. So let's go up right here.
new blueprint synthesized. All Terra supply cash nearby. Back up again. That should get us a knife, I think. Wait, what is that other... Is that a beacon? Silicon rubber, right? Okay. A battery. Ribbon plant, some copper ore. Okay. Merge the supply of cash. Oh, I don't know what that ribbon plant looks like. Sample. New blueprint synthesized. Sea glide fragment. Okay. Oxygen. Thing gave me oxygen. Look like. Sorry for the bright white light. Just going to get some oxygen. Use beacons to mark traversed territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Now with surface support. That's all that was over here. Oxygen. Oh, 
Oxygen. The heck was that? Did something freeze me or? There's some more containers down there too. But I saw another one. Oxygen. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. Hey, what the hell? You might not come back, dude. What the hell was that all about? Oh, I think we're gonna die under here. Oxygen. penguin things all right let's go over here and let's unload some of our stuff in the storage oxygen got the sea glide fragment Let's keep the first aid on us. Keep the beacon and the knife on us. And what was it we needed to find? A ribbon plant times two. Okay. So if I was a ribbon plant, where would I be? Is that a ribbon plant? Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Okay. Oxygen. I needed two of them, right? Let's 
snowing or something? Oh, maybe it's hailing. So we need to find another ribbon plant. Oxygen. I'm already debating if I want to turn on this oxygen thing. I don't mind having to search for shit. A world full of them. But it's oxygen, let me tell you. Oxygen. What up, little penguin dudes? I guess that's like table coral. Start swimming back to the surface. Hit the save. Um, all right, so we can make a battery. Make ourselves a scanner. All right, I have a scanner. that over there. Let's put that there, that there. And then we can drop off that stuff. What other blueprint did we get? Oh, the beacon? Those are just the voice memos. Minerals galore. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B? No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. It's confidential. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. Yeah, they stole our stuff. All right.
I should have put that beacon. Or we had saw that part. Because to be with honesty with you, I don't know where it's at. Sun going Oxygen. down again. There's part of something right there. Let's go up here. Sea Glide Fragment 1 of 3. Go get this rock on over here. More air. Son of a bitch. Oxygen. Where'd he go? Oxygen.
We gotta get back up. Back down. Oxygen. Oxygen. Right, let's go get air again. What is this thing? Oxygen. I have no idea what that is. Is that lava landing in the water? Alright, let's hit save. Make sure we're not missing anything here. Desk. Big robot arm. Oxygen. Where's our life pod at? Oh, back over there. All right, before we swim back, I think this will be a perfect place for us to call it a day for today. So I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you're liking the new Subnautica. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I'm going to turn off oxygen, so, but I'll leave everything else as is. If you don't like it, don't care. Hope you guys have a great one. I'm out of here.